Welcome. You're listening to the Healthy Moving Podcast, the show all about helping you to exercise less, but move more so that you will feel better. I am your healthy moving enthusiast, Jen Hoffman of stayathomeyoga.com. In today's show, I'm going to tell you exactly why the model of exercise that so many of us have come to believe we need to follow is not helpful and what you can do instead. Plus, I'm going to answer a listener question about something a lot of us who spend time at the computer deal with, eye strain. I'm going to give you tons of helpful information, so be sure to stick around. The other day I was talking with a new friend about stay-at-home yoga and what it is I do for work. And he said something like, I think it's so cool that you're focusing on helping people learn to do yoga at home. As soon as he said it, I realized I need to change how I'm describing my work to other people. You see, I'm not just interested in helping people do yoga at home. I help people get the movement they need for optimal health anywhere and everywhere they happen to be. You see, I believe we have a compartmentalization problem. We think we need to find compartments in our daily and weekly routines to get our workouts in. 30 to 60 minutes, three to five times a week, right? This notion that we can and even should compartmentalize our movement fails us in a couple of ways. First of all, many of us don't have any extra compartments. The demands of work and family and life fill up our days. We simply don't have the time to, quote, exercise. Compartmentalizing our movement also creates a momentum problem for many people. Do you ever notice how easy it is to fall out of an exercise routine? When you miss one day, it easily snowballs into a few days and then weeks. And before you know it, you haven't worked out in a month and the idea of starting again feels like this heavy burden. And then there's the issue of what part of your body you're exercising. When we compartmentalize our movement, some days we focus on strength training and other days on cardio. And maybe if we're good yogis, we throw in one day a week for stretching. So often, what we do for exercise for our heart is bad for the knees. Or what we do to strengthen the core causes problems for the pelvic floor. And on and on. Compartmentalizing our movement forces us to make trade-offs. And finally, most importantly, the body doesn't work this way. We can't say, hey body, stop shaping yourself right now. This isn't the time for exercise. No, the body is shaped by how we move and the positions we are in when we're not moving all the time. So decompartmentalize. Weave healthy diverse movement into the fabric of your life. You don't have to find a ton of extra time for exercise. You just have to begin to pay attention. Pay attention to your body when you are moving and when you're sitting at your desk and when you're washing dishes and driving the car and walking the dog and watching TV, all of it, all the time. This approach has a great deal of momentum. Once you start, it snowballs in the most wonderful way. I'm working with a coaching challenge group right now, and I love how this is working for them. Every day, they pop into our Facebook group with wonderful questions. How can I improve my alignment while I'm relaxing at the end of the day watching TV? Or what's the best alignment for driving? How should I be carrying my baby? They're doing life and being mindful of their bodies at the same time. There's no wagon to fall off of with this mindset. Also, you want to find a movement program that's good for the whole body. Look for something that allows you to take care of your heart, knees, core, pelvic floor, shoulder tension, stress level, all at the same time. This is how we find health and wellness. We decompartmentalize We weave movement into the fabric of our day. 
If you'd like to get a preview for what this kind of a movement program looks like, I'd love to have you join me each month for a free, live, online healthy moving class. The March class is actually tomorrow, the 11th. So be sure to head over quickly to healthymovingpodcast.com, enter your email address, and click the blue Get Access Now button so I can send you a registration link. We have a great time, plus you will feel amazing after the class. Okay, I'll be back in just a moment with this week's Q&A. Today's question comes to us from Mark in California. He says, Jen, I've just come from the optometrist and I am fed up. I go in every year and every year my eyes are getting worse. He blames it entirely on the computer and I don't have a hard time believing him. I can feel eye strain each day as I'm sitting at my desk. I'm starting to work on weaving these yoga breaks into the fabric of my day, but what can I do for my eyes to help them throughout the day? Should I just close them for a few moments every hour? Help, I need your input. Mark, this is a great question. Believe it or not, I spend a fair amount of time at the computer as well between the podcast and editing videos and creating content. I'm at the computer a lot, so I know exactly that eye strain and often it can lead to even tension headaches. So, Many people think what you thought, that in order to release the tension that our eyes feel from being at the computer or looking at a a whole bunch of stuff up close, that we need to close them. When actually, the best way to relax the strain that our eyes experience from looking at things that are very close to us, like a computer screen, is to look at something very far away. The opposite is not to close your eyes, it's actually to change what you're looking at. So I'm not sure what your office looks like or how this might play out for you. If you can't get outside, then even going to a window, periodically throughout the day, looking out the window and seeing the furthest thing in the horizon that you can rest your eyes on for a few moments. That changes, that actually relaxes the muscles in the eye, which our muscles in our eyes are at their shortest position when we're looking very close. So we relax that tension when we look at something very far away. Of course, if you can get outside and look at something actually outside, that's even better for you. But we need to find balance, just like we need to find balance with not sitting in our chair all the time. We need to find balance with how we're using our eyes throughout the day. Taking these little eye breaks can be a huge help. Mark, I want to hear how it goes for you, so be sure to let me know. So tell me, what questions do you have about how to weave healthy movement into the fabric of your day? Where are you having a pain or a muscle soreness or tension that you just think could be alleviated by moving better? Call me at 201 580 move or click the leave me a message link over at healthymovingpodcast.com. I would absolutely love to answer your question on the show. I also want to give a special thank you to Polly, Jack, Nikki, Uper Smith, Marilyn, and Vicki who all submitted iTunes reviews this past week. Thank you guys so much. Please head to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and review the show. Not only does it give me good feedback, but it helps other people find the show in iTunes. So it's really important. Thank you so much. Until next week, friends, keep moving.